So I need to tell you guys a quick story. So as you guys may remember, I had my bed in the middle of my room. When I had a sleeper in my room, I had to move two mattresses into my room and I didn't have room for them, so I had to move my bed into the wall in the window, as you can tell right now. And then I realized like I have so much space on the ground right now. So then I was in a mall randomly and I spotted this really cool carpet and I was like, I should redo my room. and today I'm going to be redoing my entire room and I'm so so excited there's actually going to be two parts of this video the first part I'm going to show you guys right now will be me building furniture so just basically me putting together the entire room and then the second video will be me doing a lot of crafts and a lot of DIYs and upgrade all of the IKEA furniture that I bought and upgrade my bed and upgrade everything with DIYs that's simple easy and you're just gonna be really really surprised so please or subscribe to see the next video I think that video is going to be lit and if you want more of these like room inspiration DIY changing up my entire room then make sure to give this video a thumbs up follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to see more behind the scenes and yeah that's it let's get right into this video I'm literally like the most random person in an Ikea shop today I bought this and I bought this and I don't know what to do with myself shelves next let's go so let's see I think that is it yay so that is the drawers that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get two of them because I need two. Gonna get two of those, and then next is my table. Okay, so now I'm home from IKEA, and I'm just gonna be building all the furniture that I got, like the night table, which is gonna be right there, and the Alice drawer, which I'm gonna put, I think, um, on the side of my room next to the night table. I think it's gonna look pretty nice. So I'm just gonna be building that. It's gonna be quite a struggle, but you know what? Um, for some reason, I find myself really handy. So um, let's go. To all the haters out there, I know I may not seem that masculine, but I'm really handy. Look at me with this screwdriver thing, the jiggy. So now that I'm done building a night table, I'm just going to be putting a lot of decor on top. And what I wanted to add was, first of all, these fashion books. Kind of like a coffee table book stand, just that it's my night table. I added that, I added some cactuses on top. And then next I added this M, which really just stands for my name, Maisoli and Natty. So that's that. And then I also added this black leaf jewelry holder, which I just put some jewelry on, and also some duct tape. And lastly, I added some fairy lights, just to make it all, you know, a little bit more glow up. And fairy lights really does the job. So, yes. It's very important to me because I don't have a really big room to like make everything that is in my room either important or like it adds something to the room, which I don't feel like the bottom section of this night table does right now. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding something that I find minimalistic and typical to the style that I want. That is this light box, which I found at Panduro Hobby. Okay, so we're going to move on from my night table to my bed. And what I did was that I didn't change my bed, but I wanted to like add new pillows and new colors and also because my bed is now uh, in the corner I want to like build kind of a pillow fort like going around the edge right there just to making it all more symmetrical and more peaceful I guess you could say. Uh, when I was in Marrakesh I really got inspired by like the colors that they chose there and it was mostly like vibrant oranges and yellows and pinks and some like gray tones and whites and blacks so I really just wanted to like incorporate that into my room so I'm going to do that by adding some pillows into my bed. I think this will be in the back. We'll add on like this pillow and this pillow here. And then we'll add like some color and dimension. So now that we're done in like the pillow area, you can clearly tell like there's something missing right here. So what I want to do is that I want to add this thing and it's going to go right up in the wall. It kind of looks like a ironing, not ironing, hanging up clothing rack thing. So now that I've hung this up, I'm going to be putting some decor on it. And what I chose to do is that I chose these glass bowls and I'm just going to be putting this little hook that came in the kit with this onto that like this. I found this at an Ikea store. There's basically just like fake seagrass, flowers sort of thing. So you just like drag it out like that and you just put it in the bowl. 
So then I grabbed these little paper clips from Panduru Hobby, and then I added some pictures, and then I just hung everything up, and it looks so cute. So now I'm going to be building the IKEA Alex drawer, which I'm really excited about. I think it's gonna turn out really good. I think that it's lower than the last one I have, and like wider. I think it's gonna look really good in my new room. So I'm really excited about that. So yay, we're finally finished with building it. So now I'm just going to be decorating it a little bit. Um, what I did was that I just put some random decor that I had in my room just on top of there as well as my silver play button from YouTube. And you guys have no idea how proud of it. I actually am. So I decided to fill up the first drawer with a lot of my paints. And in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to like organize drawers and DIY that and all that stuff. So I'm not really doing that much of this in this video. But stay tuned to the next one to learn how I like organize all my drawers and that kind of stuff. So the last thing I did to like finish up my room before we continue with all the DIYs was that I've changed picture frames like I did right here. I changed it from brown to black and it just matches more with like my night table and my little hanging inspirational quote thing over there. And it just makes everything a lot better, I think. And then I also added this fuzzy rug from Ikea and it's so furry and cozy and I just want to like lay in it and like be there forever. I just added that next to my bed to like make more of a cozy feel. So yeah, that is that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe. Check out the next video that I'm going to do, which is going to be DIYs for my room. So hope you guys are super excited about that. Also, if you guys want to like change up your room or redo your room, I hope these tips really helped you with like getting it cheaper or easier, just helping you get inspiration. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.